Good morning, everybody. I'm here with a beautiful man named Nathan. Very handsome, very uh, very smart. We've been here for two minutes. Today, we went ahead and started uh, putting up the panels for here because we cannot use this stuff because if we try to stretch it on those corner posts, they bend. That's what happens when you use subpar materials. But I'll be able to roll these up and sell them for the same probably price as what I paid for them. But the goal today is just to get these panels up uh, real quick so then we can let all the animals out to graze. Here we are, Orshon in Waco, Texas. I was looking at this chicken coop they have here the other day. And now that it just rained, I can get a real good look and see how they hold up. Well, I don't think it would be prudent to spend $1,000 on something like this. I do think it'd be nice to take pictures of it and steal the design. What do you think, Nathan? How long do you think this would last if you put it out in your field? Not as long as Nathan's chicken tractor. And you could make a bigger version of this with two by fours. That would be sick. What other store has guns, fishing stuff, all of the stuff you need for a farm and a ranch, automotive supplies, paint, hardware, and a ton of bunnies. They got chickens, they got little goslings and guineas. They have just about anything you can get. Oh, look at the one laying down. Oh my gosh. These are expensive. I go to Orshon to look at the bunnies and listen to Darius Rucker. So today the goal is just to go ahead and put up as much of these fence panels as we can. I'm gonna need to roll this up uh, so we can go ahead and sell it. We're gonna scoop up the rest of this stuff at the end of the day and then haul this out. But all this charcoal is really good for the ground. This is going to be super fertile. This is where we're going to plant a lot of our pumpkins. But before I do all that, I wanted to show you guys this. Look how beautiful this is. This is what it's all about. You walk back here. I'm going to try and get like a little chair out here or something like that, just so I can sit here and have my little quiet time in the morning. Crazy that we can be literally like eight minutes from downtown, seven minutes from downtown here and still just have this behind us. But a misty, foggy day like this isn't really common at all here in Waco. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo! This a little shout out to Nathan's mom, who watches my videos after a glass of wine. What's up, baby boomers? It's me, old Uncle Ben. It's a cold morning, but things are looking pretty good out here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. Things have really started to clear up, and as you can see, we are almost done. Yesterday, Nate and I went and got this gate. This gate that we got is the perfect size for this little gap here where we're gonna be letting the animals out to pasture. The reason why I got this one is because it's pretty cheap and it's also pretty lightweight and we're gonna have to attach a huge panel to it anyways to make sure that it's eight feet. This one we don't necessarily have to do that, but it would be good to do that. We got the welding and the wiring started on here. I wasn't able to do that with my hand, but thanks to our volunteers and some friends yesterday, we were able to get a lot of that done. And this thing is really, really on there. We even wired it to these little guys and they're actually keeping it pretty straight and steady. But look at this, guys. These aren't going anywhere. Pretty soon we are going to need to fill in the bottom with dirt so the animals can't just easily dig in and out. But for the most part, the baby ain't getting out of here. Poggers, for the most part, ain't getting out of here. And these panels aren't perfectly straight because the pipes aren't. But the beauty of this, you guys, is that they simply do not need to be. We went ahead and tacked them real well everywhere here. And these things aren't going anywhere. Really, the only thing that could break this fencing is either a rhino or a huge tornado. And that just slashed our liabilities down by 50%. And now we don't have to worry about an ostrich getting out and killing someone or uh, a goat running onto the road. But as you can see, this is the same gate that we got tractor supply. And it's the perfect size for this. You guys, look. Right now, Nathan and I are screwing in the hardware for this, and then we're just going to weld it into there. But this way, Lord willing, if we can get the land next door, or if we can at least get permission to use it, uh, then we have a lot more space for the animals, and we have an easy access gate that can just go right out there. Hey, there's a shotgun shell. I'm sure people used to hunt back here as well. Nathan's doing a phenomenal job here, drilling through these pipes, and he had to get a knee brace because Darth Vader broke his knee. Here's a little clip of that. So this dude just bit my belly button. Oh, fudge. Dude, that freaking hurts, man. Don't mind me at all. I got a notification when we walked on the porch. Don't mind me at all. Nathan, what did you think of that fight with Darth Vader, man? 
one and oh. Oh, yeah, baby! But yeah, I also got this little gate here for the back, and this is just a pedestrian gate that uh, you could fit a skid steer through if you really needed to. You could get horses through here if you really needed to. Again, this is all just planning, you know, just in case. Praying that we'll be able to use that land eventually for some kind of educational thing if we can rent some of it or something. Or mayhaps they could even subdivide that property and give us an acre. Either way though, we're getting the gates put up. We're gonna get this trash and this trash loaded up on the trailer and put out to the dump. But I went ahead and put this panel up here so they can't get into that area. And then we have natural fencing here in between us and the neighbors. If DeBaby and Karen or Kevin really, really wanted to, they could hop over this little bit of fence here, but this is still about four feet tall. So basically I could let the geese out today. I don't know if they're even gonna wander too far from the barn just cause they like it over there. So right now we're cutting all the wire from this tree line because it's getting kind of dangerous. I don't want the animals to kind of run through here and get caught. That's something DeBaby would probably do. But look how these trees just kind of grew with it inside of them. Oh yeah! Woo! Oh yeah! Woo! We put these two pipes from the old galvanized pipes that we got in here and I got this particular gauge so that we could uh, extend the frame a little bit higher and this was a lot cheaper. Okay so here is a stray dog that's just walking back in the field here. Uh, it doesn't have a collar. It doesn't seem to be neutered or spayed. I think it's a female. Yeah. And look how it's just kind of walking through here. Look how he just runs off. Basically, that's what a coyote would do. It would just walk right by me. And then when it sees you approaching, just sprints off into the woods. Now that thing would kill my animals. He wouldn't think twice. You know, I don't know if that thing's being fed. Uh, that's probably the same thing, if not worse, as a coyote uh, to have back here as far as predators go. Wow, that thing may be a little bit scared of our geese. It's not going to think twice about killing one of our little ducks, especially the call ducks. And that guy, as you can see, was not friendly at all. He just ran right off into the woods like a little wild boy. The other thing that was weird is that that dog was a really healthy weight, but easily he could dig under here and uh, dig through certain areas here where we do have, uh, where there's dips in the earth. So we're definitely going to have to backfill some of this with a little bit of dirt. So Nathan just finished putting the hinge on. And now with this gate, with this little lock, we should be able to keep it shut. Let's see. Very nice. Nothing's gonna get through that. Now this year's a little cedar tree. You can tell it's a cedar tree because the because the way it is. As you can see, it has the little parts on it. I was about y'all go in the comments and thank Matt for bringing his chainsaw, huh? But check this out, guys. Right here, there is a big duck nest. I believe these are duck eggs. They laid their little nest right there in this big thicket. Uh, where there's a ton of brambles and briars. With one and a half hands, I was able to get all of this nasty barbed wire out in between these trees. Oh yeah, baby, woo! Look at how these things are purple on the inside, guys. Isn't that neat? This is fresh cedar. That's the part of the cedar that's still alive. Look at that beautiful cedar. Yum, 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 yum. Don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do. Mm. Very good. So this is gonna be one last big burn pile that we're gonna have here. So it has been months since the fire was put out. Months, and they're still cold. Deep, deep down in here in this pile, they were still glowing red. That is insane, look at that. Well, it looks like Poggers found his way out, and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and let Queen out so she can watch the bonfire. But Kevin is guarding her. Nathan, how's about you uh, go ahead and give Kevin a kiss so he no, stops attacking us? No, sir, no, sir, no, sir. Please, please give him a little kiss. Okay, found our female. She's been yelling a lot because she can't find her way back in. Now I thought for sure that she was dead. I thought we lost her, but good thing we didn't. Hello, my beautiful girl. Are you ready to go back home? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just put you through this little hole. There she goes. Oh, there they go. Okay, now they're nice and happy and hanging out in here. All right, everybody, everything is nice and clean. We are going to finish the fencing today, but you don't get to see that. I love you all, I appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. Next time you see my ugly moog, we'll be completely done with this entire fencing project. I do need to feed the animals, Kevin, and just for good luck, I'm gonna give you a nice little love tap. Boop. All right, back up, buddy. Back up, ooh. 
oh, trying to get the food, but Kevin bit me right in the corner of my arm. It still hurt, even though it was right through this puffy jacket. Kevin has definitely gotten more aggressive. That's it though, everyone. Thanks for watching my video. Next time you watch this, we are gonna be completely fenced. Ah!